Yep. Morning, welcome, morning. We're going to be continuing with a bit of Against the Storm tonight. And I think what I would really like to do is check out one of these new biomes. So, last game, we found ourselves a modifier over here as we founded the city of Etira. We found these fertile grounds, so glades have an increased chance of including fertile soil. And we've got this nice, fun new marshlands biome right next to it that we can use for a new city. We're going to cost ourselves a bit of food here, because we're doubling up on two tiles, but that's okay for the sake of trying something new, I think. We still don't have harpies unlocked, so I don't think this caravan choice matters a lot. 20 pottery is pretty good. Water skin is definitely better than plant fiber. But it looks like we're also just getting more stuff in general with this pick. We're getting pottery and plant fiber, so I think this is just going to be better overall. And then we have two embark points now. What I would really like is the ability to make bricks immediately if we don't find a clay deposit or a seam rail deposit, so I'm going to take some stone. And then the trees, uh, you'll, you'll see when we get in. You'll, you'll see what it all means. So a couple different things about this marshlands biome. Uh, gathering speed is increased by 10% for every two workers assigned to gathering camps. So gathering is not necessarily more efficient, but it is a lot faster. And then they, the marshlands are home to enormous life forms, and there's giant resource nodes that you can find in Forbidden Glades, which are the big scary glades with the skulls on them. Not these. Uh, not these. These. These are Forbidden Glades, which are even more difficult than the Dangerous Glades. But they have, like, functionally infinite giant resource nodes in them. The trees are also different. In uh, Royal Woodlands, we were getting two wood per tree, and then we were getting, like, some eggs, some plant fiber, and uh, something else. You get something else out of the trees. I don't remember what it is right now. But here, you're only getting one wood per tree, and then you're getting mushrooms and leather. So the biggest thing with that is that wood is going to be a lot harder to come by. You basically get half as much wood when you're in the marshlands as when you're in Royal Woodlands or some other biome like that. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Let's take a look at what mysteries we have. 5 amber every drizzle, plus 5 amber for each hostility level. Okay, it's just free money. We have off-road speed decreased by 30%. We have minus 2 to global resolve during the storm for every dangerous and forbidden glade that we've opened. So we really don't want to open too many of these. Otherwise, our storm resolve is going to become untenable in a hurry. We've got minus two penalty to resolve if villagers don't have complex food and housing, and it's stacked, so that's also pretty bad. And charge drain, plus 5% chance of perishing every 15 seconds if we have no complex food or services. So we're going to need a lot of needs for villagers, and we really want to manage this hostility level, because two, three, and four are all pretty annoying. Anyway, let's get started. Where do we want to expand first? I kind of want to go here, here. Do I want to go there? I, I would like to work my way down to some of these Forbidden Glades to get the infinite resource nodes. So we can go here, into here pretty easily. We can go here, into... No, that's not a Forbidden Glade. We can go here, into here, through a lot of trees. No, we can't. We're not even close to that. We can go, like here to here. Okay, so I think this is going to be the plan. We're going to crack these two glades. Everything else we do after that is going to be dangerous glades. And we're really going to try and minimize them. So I think we're going to open one, two... I just, I, I don't think we can get down to this one. Well, we can. We can go here, 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 and here. So that's okay. I think we can open three forbidden glades by opening two dangerous glades. So that'll be a minus 10 to resolve, but you know, hopefully we get something out of it at the same time. So we'll want to go over here eventually, we'll want to go over here eventually. We'll get woodcutters, woodcutters camps going. It's going to be unfortunate that we really don't get to take advantage of a lot of the fertile soil in these glades, because we're not going to be opening many glades. But 
I don't think you need a ton of farms for it to be viable. This is unlucky. I guess start with the eggs. And then later on, we can move over the roots. It also means that our workforce is going to be pretty sorted here. We'll wait a little bit before we collect, um, not before we collect, before we put down decorations to do hub upgrades and stuff like that. Just let the wood come in a little bit first. And again, like always, we're going to wait until we're about halfway through Drizzle to look at our orders. We're going to wait to look at our reputation buildings, because we don't know what is in these glades yet, and we want to make an informed choice. You through the music hanging? Is it doing that for you? Or is that just on my end? Oh, that's very annoying. Hang on. One second here. Um, oh, I can't be a volume off. Let's turn that off. I don't know. Maybe it'll sort itself out. Uh, I still have two free laborers. I'll put one more person into a woodcutter's camp. And then let's see what we've got. I'm definitely getting frame drops. I don't know what that's about. What other system resources do I have running right now? Uh, what if I just kill all this? Maybe Chrome is just eating all of my RAM. Let's see. Specialized grain farming techniques. Uh, and spices. I don't know if we're going to be producing biscuits yet. I don't, also don't know if we're going to be producing herbs and roots yet. I mean, we clearly are here. But I don't know about other places. So let's see what we've got in these glades, these initial glades that we'll be opening. Oh, and you, by the way, do not open glades. Not until we're ready. Complete two glade events, have three packs of building materials. Build three human houses and three beaver houses. Do we have the... we don't have those unlocked yet, so it's very unlikely we're going to be doing that. We'll just take clearing glades. Have 15 copper to get plus one to copper bars production. I haven't seen copper yet, so let's take a tablet instead. And then complete three glade events for six tools. Yeah. yeah, things we'll probably be doing, so might as well take them. Choose a cornerstone? Yeah, I'll, I'll choose a cornerstone in a second, don't worry. No, music is still hanging. Alright, we're gonna turn music off then. It's too annoying. I'll see if I can get that worked out on my end later on. It's too bad, because the soundtrack is really good. But apparently the computer just does not want to cooperate today. We have beaver fire keepers right now, that's probably fine. Of course we would find like a million copper nodes. Uh well this means we can put down a stone cutter's camp. I guess this is why you wait to to pick your uh, your orders, because maybe we could have done that one. So you come down here, open the second glade. Well, this means that we would really not mind picking up a, a smelter and something that makes tools, because then we would be able to open any caches that we find in these glades. And not only that, but we'd be able to do it before we even get into these dangerous glades. Which would mean that we can almost guarantee that we can solve these mysteries successfully. And then we'll have a path that comes around like that, probably. A hearth would go pretty far down here. I think it would be difficult. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to, to tile one of those down here. This is just going to have to be a road back to the back to the storage locker. How are we doing on wood? We're up to 32. Could probably start thinking about decorations now. 
So we'll give you like a, a bench. That'll be nice. We can start thinking about housing. That'll be nine houses. That's all we need for now. We have coal, leech breed mothers, and a snake nest. Okay. No fertile soil, importantly. Despite the fact that we, you know, embarked on top of one of those things, we haven't seen any fertile soil. So, well, we might end up taking plantation with a later building choice. We're not going to need one now, because it doesn't have anything to do. Instead, we have a means of making planks and simple tools, which looks very good to me right now. And then we've got like a lumber mill and a weaver, which is, you know, the three star would be nice, but given that we have a big copper mine coming up, I'd really like to be able to grab simple tools. So we'll take carpenter. We also would really like to find a more efficient fuel source, I think. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We know we have one leech breed mother on the map. So three-star jerky might be all right, and then one-star pottery and incense later would be okay. I don't think we have a plan for using flour. We do know that we could make barrels with all this copper, and packs of provisions would be nice for trade routes. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to farm eventually. And we don't have a way of getting meat right now, because snake nests don't actually give it. And you can't make jerky out of eggs. It's only meat and insects. We don't we don't have a way to use the smokehouse right now. So smokehouse is going to be good in the future. Provisioner is going to be good in the future. Weaver would be like okay right now, but it wouldn't be great. And it would really just be to make fabric. I don't want to spend a whole building choice on making fabric for, at three star instead of inefficiently. I'm going to take provisioner, man. I think provisioner is going to be better in the long term. And Trapper's Camp is very good. So now we do have a way to get meat, which is a little unfortunate. But it's going to be very good on this map. Because I think there's meat, insects, and eggs all in the glades. So, unlucky that we don't have a way of producing bars yet. So we are going to have to open some of these glades and hope that we just have the stuff to, to clear them laying around. But the rest of these picks pretty good. You now can come over here. Because you are going to be doing egg collection. And then our orders. We still don't have anything to make biscuits, so you know I guess grain production might wind up being better. At some point in the far future. You can now come over here and not open glades. You can come down here. We're going to be doing a lot of mining this game, I believe. So that'll be fun. start getting our initial crude workstation set up. It's going to be 2, 2, and 2. Use stone to make bricks. And plant fiber is not going to come in that fast, but I think I'd still rather save the leather. Because if we do end up making water skins, you can only make water skins out of leather. You can make plant fiber out of pretty much anything you find laying around. Where do we want to open this one first? This one actually might be closer. All right, halfway through storm, I think we're going to open this up. And we're going to see what's going on inside. So I want you guys to get ready for that to happen. 
This is going to be decoration and then road. I'd like this to be prioritized, please. Thank you. Let's get that started. Also, like you to prioritize that as materials start to come in. Both of you are set to not open glades. Yes, that is true. Oh, we get gathering speed increase from woodcutters camps too. That's nice. I, we're still going to get a lot less wood than we would on royal woodlands, but it is nice to know that woodcutters camps count as gathering camps. I guess it would be anything in the camps category, now that I think about it. And you're done. Uh, where can I borrow someone? I can borrow you. I can have you come down here and start working. We could really use that next villager wave, though. Why don't you square these off? Yeah, you're already kind of going for it. I see what you're doing here. And then get that one out of here, too. And then... One, two, three. Yeah, we'll take it all the way back. Because this is where our trading post is going to go, so we can start trading. I would really like to start buying upgrades and perks from traders. Would be very helpful for us right now. Houses are going up. We still don't have uh, complex food for melancholy, but we're a long ways off of resolve for uh, hostility three, and we don't have services for charged rain yet either. Beavers are going to be low, but I actually think that'll be okay once this first house goes up. As soon as they have somewhere to live, they'll be fine. They'll be chilling, and then we can just leave them where they're at. Just need one of you to win house roulette. There you go. Up to one. And then the other two will be up soon, I assume. We do have 66 wood right now. And then after we crack these two glades, I think we're gonna, like, we're gonna put a warehouse down here, probably. Even if not a full hearth, because it would be difficult to get a hearth to fit without opening more glades. Although, right there is a, a candidate. It opens two smalls. Smalls are 15, so it's like an extra 30 hostility for no reason. But it does pretty significantly increase the efficiency of the mines down there. As soon as this third house is built, we'll have an upgraded hub. Storm's almost over, so let's take a peek at this glade. Because this is going to be a minus two, so it's going to put beavers down to minus one. But... It's okay, because Storm will be... Well, at this rate, Storm will be over by the time they even cut the tree down. They appear to have other things to work on. Oh, right, the, the trading post spot. Alright, fine, we'll do it. We'll do it in Drizzle instead, then. That's okay. No, it's fine. Take your time. There's no rush. It's not like you're super slow when you're off of a road, anyway. And then we need villagers. Nine coal is quite good. It's a lot of fuel. It's like another ten minutes of fuel on a map where we're probably going to have fuel issues relatively soon. So let's take that. Let's get another beaver working in here. 
Let's see what our cornerstone is. Wood production is increased by plus one, but harvesting and planting are 25% slower. I, we're definitely not taking Deserted Caravan, so I think we are going to take Broody Ground. It's a map where wood is already kind of scarce. And it's a map where we haven't found any fertile soil yet, despite our modifier. So, I think that's okay. You, I'm going to move a little further out, because our provisioner, I think, is going to go here. In this 3x3 three three square. And then, we could put some nice decorations along the back of it. Here's our hub upgrade, so that's going to be a little bit of bonus resolve. I'd like to get this trapper's camp up, because lizards would really be quite good at working in there. Right, so after this tree, are you going to take care of this one? I guess it was the one that was closer to your camp, but still, man, come on. Here's our trapper's camp. Get a lizard in there, get a human in there too, just to get a bit of extra food. I know there's an enormous building queue right now, but it'll be okay. Uh, we don't have anything to do this, that's a concern. We are going to need to make 24 planks real quick. Or alternatively, okay, look. Don't panic yet. We're going to see if we can get something in this glade that helps us with that glade. I need you to make 25 planks. Give me a second, human. Stop making these. Just in case. That's going to be our bad fail safe. We don't have a way of getting... Well, we do have a way of getting four more coal. But we can't make a mine, because we don't have enough bricks or planks. Wait. No, we don't have enough bricks. We need to make two more bricks. Okay, I'm changing my mind. We're going to stop burning coal. You are going to make two more bricks. We're going to build a mine on this coal. Sure, good enough. And then, what do we have in here? Minus 12 to beaver's resolve. That's okay, we can survive that. We can survive that, and I would like to have villagers move 10% quicker. So, uh, get out of here. For the time being, we're going to be fine on wood, don't worry about it. Uh, let's send some humans to work on that. Beavers are going to be at minus one. We can favor them. It'll be okay. And then this needs to be, like, extremely prioritized. Do we get coal for salvaging this? No, we get tools. Does that help us? No, we'd need ten. And we can't use provisions, can we? No. Okay. Nothing in here helps us. Close to to resin production. Eh, doesn't matter. a little spooky right now. Have 50 grain to get five humans. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll trade instead. Have 65 meat to get five lizards. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll make luxury goods. Well, how close are we to 65 meat, actually? Like, not at all. We have none meat. Okay. Then I think we're just going to be taking this. Hello. We're in a bit of an unfortunate spot here today. We've opened a lot of glades, and we haven't found any event that we can solve. But I think we might just be able to... Oh, there's a second mine over here. That coal deposit's a lot closer. Stop doing this. Yeah, it'll refund me. That's fine. Uh, here. And then here. Here. I need you guys to, like, get in there. We have three minutes to make, like, four coal. That uh, doesn't seem optimistic, but we'll give it a shot. No, it'll it'll speed up once we actually start the event. So just get this tree down. Build this road. Good, you're done. You can get out now. And you can just move over here. And then we're going to go mine... Max priority. You guys... Why are you not making bricks? Please prioritize. Oh, because I told them to make two! They need to make four. 
Bad. Bad and also not good. We do have the stone to do this. Is this like catastrophic? Hey, it's pretty bad. That's not terrible, but that's pretty bad. Okay, you're making bricks. That's going to allow us to build the mine. Because I think there's more lumber in here. Yeah, there is. Well, you know... Now I'm like... Uh, would we be fast enough at making planks in here? I, let's do Let's do planks in both. How about that? How about that one? Oh, shit. Wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, a favor you briefly? That's pretty bad. <laughs> Oops. Uh, mm, you get out of there. Kind of forgot that I had to micromanage that. You get out of here because I need a free builder. And just like, just crank on lumber. We have two minutes to make 24 planks. We've got four in here, so we have two minutes to make 20 planks. 18, 16, 14. I, we might do it, because that event will get faster as we staff it with more people. But I'm still not happy about it. And you guys are almost done here. That has one charge left, and then you're going to be moving down here to get those eggs as well. And also there's eggs over here. Actually, you might come out here. And there's uh, insects. Okay, are you guys done over here yet? Because as soon as you're done, I'm going to have people start working this event. 15 of 20, though. Like, we're so much closer on coal. Uh, you're fine here. We're so much closer on coal, if we can just get this mine built. Are you coming to build it now? Oh, you legend. Alright, uh, we're gonna... Oh, it's gonna be so tight. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna fail this. Especially because it's gonna increase our hostility during storm, and that's gonna be really bad. I wonder if this is permanent or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, take everyone off of everything else. And get into this mine. It takes 40 seconds to mine one. I really need a fourth person in there. Because then they'll get four. Okay, so it's not it's not going well. I actually need to kick this lumber out. Because otherwise we're not gonna have anything to do. Yeah, fire's going out. We're gonna need wood. You get in here and get wood. Fifteen of twenty, come on. Oh, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna fail the timer anyway, so give me the hostility back. Get you guys out of here. Burn coal again. We've got the mine up. We're just gonna we're gonna have to eat this. We're gonna have to eat one tick of it. Alright, let's do some reassignment here. You give me give me a beaver out of here. We don't have a beaver out of here. We only have three beavers total. Oh, they're still hauling stuff back from this event. I see. No, that's humans. Where the hell are my beavers? One, two, oh, and one's in the hearth, I see. It makes sense, I guess. I'll put a human in there then. And then we'll take a lizard out of the mine. We'll put a lizard in the trapper's camp. Uh, we will be able to favor our way through this, I think. It's going to be dicey, but we will be able to. Let's also build a fourth house. That's going to take us to 12 of 14. And then we're at 18 coal. We're also at 21 and 24 planks. We almost made it. We almost made both of those, but not quite. If only we'd opened this glade first. We probably would have been fine. But we didn't, and now we pay the price. So, what does that mean? Uh, it means I probably dump planks in here instead of coal now. Because we can just use coal as fuel. Stop burning wood. And stop burning all that. We're just a coal society now. Ready to watch all of our roads go away. Alright, we're at 26 lumber now. Knock one human out of here. Come and convert this. People are going to be extremely unhappy. And then, in like just a second, they're going to be fine. There we go. People. I need lizards. I also need coal. That's quite good. Give me more lizards. I need beavers in woodcutters camps. I need logs coming in. In a big way. Cornerstones. Grain per minute. I don't currently have like a trajectory for making incense. Nor do I have... Well, I've... I, no, you can't use coal and incense. That's insane. I'm going to take grain per minute. Because I don't, I don't have a, a clear path to being able to make incense. Also, is this a provisioner when we picked provisioner? Well, then I think we'll be salvaging this, you'll find. Take me up to... Okay, first of all, don't make planks. Take me up to six fabric. And I want a human in here. Keep the lizard free, because I'd actually, now that we have coal, rather give them the resolve bonus. Which will free up a beaver to just do some work around the place. Alright, so we're finishing this, but we are going to get hit by it one time. I'd really, honestly, rather have it give me an impatience point than that, to be honest with you. Here go the roads. Yep. There they go. So we build this back. We build this back. We build this back. And then we go like this. You come in here. There was one here. And there's one that went down here. Oh, and then there was this one here. So, how long does this last? It's forever. Okay. 
So villagers are just going to be slower forever. That's pretty unlucky. But there's not a ton that we could have done about it. So give me a trading post here. We still need more housing, so let's do another block of four houses over here. It's going to eat a lot of our wood, I know. And then we'll do barrel, barrel, bench, bench. And then back here, we'll do like bush, 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 and road sign. Yeah, why not? Well, some nice decorations back there. Oh my god, they're so slow. And rain is going... Uh, the storm season is going to be a nightmare for movement now. They're not going to move fast at all. One beaver working on planks. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Thank god we got this mine up. Might end up being really important in the grand scheme of things. I also need packs of building materials here, and then we can finish one of our orders. So let's get a makeshift post up. I still need, like, way more people. But I don't currently have a way of feeding way more people. Which is kind of scary. Like, we're doing okay on food, but we're only doing okay on food because we're working gathering nodes. We don't have anything sustainable. Sell goods are 35 amber and have 30 charged rainwater to get plus 5 items for builders. A lot of people enjoy leisure, so we can get a tavern and ale. We're going to really want to get a tavern anyway. And I think packs of provisions are going to be difficult to make to do trading routes, so this would have to be people coming to us, and 35 is a pretty big number for people coming to us. Uh, where were you earlier? I think I've discovered, like, most of the glades that I want to discover this entire game. 10% move speed. We might need to take that just to make villagers move faster now. Oh no. We are up to 6 fabric now, so we could salvage this for tools. That's pretty good. Maybe after you're done with this totem, that's what I'll have you work on. And I really, I think I just need to let people build a little bit here pretty soon. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get that done. Don't even need to worry about it. Did I tell you to not open glades? Do not open glades, because there's a glade over there. And you, just to be safe, don't open glades. Alright, done. Feels good. Now, the two of you, get in here and salvage this. And then what's the next glade we opened? <laughs> this uh, Forbidden Glade? No, I don't think so. I do not think that's what we'll be doing. Or this one? No. Eh, probably neither of those, I would say. I mean, th those are the next glades we're going to be opening, but not anytime soon. I know I said we weren't going to open any more dangerous glades, because we don't want to stack uh, greater threat too high, but 
we need ancient tablets in a pretty bad way. And we also need to open glades for archaeology. So now I'm like, we finish archaeology with that as long as there's a mystery in here that has ancient tablets in it. We can also get a little bit of cheeky resolve out of lizards here. You can get like a tenth of a, of a reputation point before clearance kicks in. You guys are going to be done with that soon. I don't think that counts as a glade event. How's this going? We have 60 wood, that's fine. 34 coal. And there's not a lot of coal in here, don't get me wrong. We are going to have to progress to this mine relatively soon. Like, I know we can upgrade it, but the upgrade is, what, like 20 planks? I guess we have 20 planks. But still, it's just like, it's one coal. You know what I should have done? If I wasn't in such a hurry, I should have checked these trees. Because sometimes there's extra coal deposits that are hiding underneath the trees. Mm, you're going to wait for that root deposit, and then I can move you over there, I think. Give me one more house. Just to make sure everyone is housed. Yeah, this mine is empty. So you get out of here. Come work in here. And then the the other human, I just want you to build, honestly. I need you to build. We we still have not fully repaired our road system. Oh, it did count. We finished Problem Solver. This gives us three people. That's going to push us to Hostility 2 almost certainly. So let's wait until the end of this storm season, and then we'll, we'll finish Problem Solver. Otherwise, that's going to turn on Greater Threat, and turning on Greater Threat is just an absolute catastrophe at this point. We're not equipped to handle that amount of global resolve reduction. You're fine getting eggs. You're fine getting houses up. Everyone's chilling. We don't have to make any adjustments. Second coal deposit over here as well. Oh, it's coal and copper. Clear that out for me. Let's take a look at that. How's corruption doing? We're fine. We're only at 20% of max. Impatience is starting to have me a little concerned. Not yet, but a little concerned. Like, we should probably think about getting reputation here at some point pretty soon. I know we have one here, and we've got the farm here. Uh, but we don't really have a lot going on right now. I wouldn't describe ourselves as making, like, positive, productive steps towards solving this game. Maybe that changes soon, but it's not true right now. What are you guys doing? Oh, it's just four builders. Okay, I don't know where those humans... Go. Oh, they were working on the... They were the guys who salvaged this. I got gotcha you now. Yeah, I've got it right here. This is my lunch. Okay, storm's almost over. Provisioner... Build the Provisioner, please. It's more important than other things right now. Trader's also probably pretty important. Why don't you prioritize that one? Build Provisioner, and then we'll build Trader, and then I want you to go back to whatever random stuff you were working on. Now, Cornerstones. Brawling versus educate. I'd rather have global production speed than glade events, because I think by the time that buff kicks in, we're probably not going to be bringing stuff back from glade events. Uh, we're lowest on lizards right now. But this is a lot of food. I'll take that. I could always use more beavers. And yeah, that does push us to two. And then we go problem solver. That gives us another three. Now we're halfway through two. But we get reputation. And what do we want to do with this? We really need a source of uh, refined food. And I think everyone likes jerky. Is this a true statement? 
no, beavers don't like jerky, but humans and lizards do like jerky. Which is pulling me towards smokehouse. Pickled goods is whatever. Wine is very whatever right now. Only beavers care about wine. Uh, I'll take smokehouse. I, I gotta get refined food here pretty soon. Otherwise people are gonna get mad, mad. So we'll put a smokehouse in here. Turn off pottery, turn off incense. Jerky, yes. Uh, use uh, the wood for that. Don't use coal for that. And make it until you've got 100. In here, give me one human. Okay, wait, we have uh, labor issues. Uh, I want to fully staff woodcutting during a season when we can afford to do it. I don't have anywhere to put I, I can I can like sneak you in over there. That's fine. Fully staff this. And that's fully staffed. You are fine. You don't actually have anything to do right now. We can get provisioner down. Oh, provisioner's three by two. This I didn't know. Well then we'll do this. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of you. We'll just have four bushes back here. And then we'll go get rid of these. I could have sworn provisioner was three by three, but I guess not. We do this. We're also going to need to do this. And I'm just going to leave idle builders for a little bit. Because we just queued up a lot of things to do. Traders up. What do you have for me? We have 75 amber because we've just been sitting around. Plus one to tools production. 10% faster on roads. Plus one to copper production. Easy. Easiest purchases of my life. Oh, there's a there's a copper back there that we never built the mine on. I think this mine is going to need to... I can't come down because it's got blight on it. Ugh. Okay, fine. Clear that out. You, you're not as important over there. You need to come over here. Farloff, get your face off of my UI. I don't have time for it right now. What else am I doing? Building materials. You guys are working on building materials. That's great news. You just need to do one more, and then we're in business. You're fine. You're getting me to plenty of stuff. These don't give meat, unfortunately, but they do give eggs. You, I have one idler, so I've got a uh, hearth and then two in here. So one more is going to be working in smokehouse because they the fucking they love the smokehouse. And maybe because your resolve isn't going, you're going to get the like. Excuse me, you're not missing. You're right there. Because uh, they're going to get the resolve bonus anyway from being in here. I'll go back to using something in the hearth that actually gives us a benefit rather than just being like a, a selfish lizard. There's nothing else back there. So next mine is going to be here. That's going to get us copper. Hearth is upgraded. Provisioner's up. It's all happening. We don't care about any of these things right now. Although we can make a lot of provisions with eggs. Okay, maybe we do care about provisions. Maybe I was JK. And then trade routes. Don't I can't trade insects right now. Food is too scary. I can't trade any of this right now. It's all too scary. Show me in show me in uh in clearance. See if I've changed my mind then. Over here, we need a blight post. We're out of plank somehow. How does this happen? Oh, because there's only one beaver here. There. I guess that would be how that happens. Clearing glades is done. This gives us four people. My god, we have a lot of population right now. But it does give us 30 jerky. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. And then you? Uh, I don't think that building even needs to be active anymore. We get a building pick. Herb garden makes us herbs. Do we care? We might. That's provision packs. Or herbalist camp gets us mushrooms and... There's an herbalism benefit, and the only fertile soil we have right now is this patch that's way over here. Which, like, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a patch of fertile soil, but 
We've opened four glades, and that's the only one we've found, whereas here we've got mushrooms. Here we've got mushrooms. And, like, I guess that's it, but that's a lot of mushrooms. And it's a, a gamble on insects, and insects are jerky, so call me crazy, but I think we're going to go herbalist camp. And that is totally a product of the map that we're on. Remember at the start of this game when we were like, oh, we're going to do so much farming because we're next to this modifier and it's going to make farming really good? How how the turntables? So I think this is where we're going to be for now. Your blight post is up, so you're going to come back here and I'm going to put you like right here and I'm going to have you open this uh, this dangerous glade next season. And, okay, we it's, it is active from hostility, too. So we're going to be dealing with greater threat this storm season, no matter what. But hopefully people eat a bunch of jerky and get pogged up about that. And that helps their resolve out a little bit. Over here, this is going to be humans. We can't really use that alchemy specialty right now. So get you in there. Stonecutters Camp has no deposits nearby. You finished that stone already? That's great news. Come over here. Yeah, come over here and do it again. And then I'll worry about that stone later. It's not as important right now. Food somehow is okay, but that's only because we just got like 30 jerky. We're basically breaking even on food. I think we're done taking people in. I don't think we can afford to do it anymore. We're decent on stone. We have enough to make bricks, and that's about it. We have another mine spot over here. This is good. This could be a decent warehouse. Can we afford a warehouse right now? No, we need more brick. This... I mean, do we care about copper? Like, we can't do anything with copper right now. Can we? No, because we don't have a smelter. If we had a smelter, it would be a different calculus, because we could be going, doing, like, oh, medium abandoned camp, plus 10% speed be going, oh, uh, the resin production sucks, so that would be a, that's a big queen's grace over there. Lizards can go to 15. Let's get some reputation. Now we can build a warehouse. Now that we use that last bit of brick up. And then, where's my other woodcutter's camp? Where is my other woodcutter's camp? Oh, here you are. You finished your work over there. You can come over here. Clear out that space around the coal. Make sure we don't have any more coal deposits there. We're also thinking, no, because we want to destroy this, actually, is what we want to do. You don't collect eggs. We have people, people better at collecting eggs than you. Come down here and grab these roots. I think we're getting to a point where we're okay. We're not okay yet. Oh, it's uh, clearance, right? Uh, trade roots. Could be trading copper. Cannot afford to trade coal. Could afford to trade, like, two stone. For eight amber. Because we got a lot of stone deposits on the map still. 20 packs of building materials for 10% quicker villager speed. Or uh, the pack of crops is going to be virtually impossible for us to make. We can't afford to burn food on packs of crops. So let's burn wood on packs of building materials. We've only got 84. What's the worst that could happen? This mine needs to go up soon. This mine needs to get burnt out. And honestly, in storm, don't even worry about burning blight rod cysts on these other buildings. I want you to burn out this mine, and that's it. 
two cysts. Where's the second one? Oh, back here. There. Yeah, I want you to burn this one, just this cyst right here, so we can destroy this building and rebuild it, so it's on top of uh, coal and copper. Also, wait, 12 packs of luxury goods. Is that you? Yeah, your packs of luxury goods. We can turn incense into packs of luxury goods. Can we make incense? We can do it with herbs and roots and fuel. Maybe I should have taken that herbalist or the, the herb garden. I don't know. It's impossible to tell. If we see a, a second farm field in one of these glades and we get uh, herb garden again, I'll probably take it. I don't see any other resource nodes over here, so I actually think that you're good. You can come back over here. You Wait, we're out of... We're really out of gears? Is such a thing even possible? Do we get more? We do get more from increasing our standing level and from 20 building materials, so that's positive, I suppose. Uh, probably time to knock hostility down a couple pegs. We might actually be able to get under two here. Okay, that's huge. We don't have to worry about greater threat for one more storm. I did not think that would happen. And yet, here we are. So, I was going to do 60 for a ton of amber, but I think instead I'm going to do 1. Oh, I can, oh cause I have, because I have two active frames. Uh, that's okay, we'll be able to get it. I'm only going to do 1 because uh, shorter trade routes that have less goods go faster, and I kind of want to knock out making connections. So the faster we can actually make those connections, the faster we can finish making connections, and the better off we'll be. You are being destroyed. Yes, it will refund stuff. And in your place, we're going to build you down here. It's a better place to mine coal, because there's two deposits instead of one. And then later on, we'll rebuild another mine up there. Don't worry about it. It'll probably come like up that way, and then I'll go here, here, here. This herb node, 9 of 15, or root node. Lizards are still happy. Now, they're not going to be happy in a little bit, but at least for now, they're very happy. And then get me beavers in here. They'll just be very happy about that. They love engineering. And then road here, road here, and we're going to open these two glades. Next season, hostility is uh, going to push us over the threshold on greater threat. But at least for now, we can enjoy it. Enjoy not having to worry about a mechanic, that is. Our villagers don't look slow anymore. Was that actually just timed? And we didn't know? 
It looks like it was. You know? So that's nice. Can't afford to trade coal. Can't afford to trade copper. Can't afford to trade bricks. Can't afford to trade either of those. We'll have to wait a little longer on making connections, but... Even more coal. This is great news. It's also not farm field. That's not great news. And then, yeah, I'm just going to let the two of you work. You got a lot of people idle right now. The economy is not really doing anything. We're just kind of treading water. Uh, you are out of things to do. So that's two more idlers. And then we'll move you up over here so we can see easily that you're idle. I guess I could just have you work in a mine. Might as well start getting some copper ore. It's better than not doing anything at all. Can you get this glade open this season? Please? No, you're carrying stuff back? Alright, that's fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to rush you. And I don't think we can afford to take new people anymore. We are at 30 planks, so if it's another event that we have to spend planks on, we're good. Minus 8 to global resolve. It's doable. It's highly doable. 8 parts looks really good right now with the amount of mines we're going to have to make. 10 pack of luxury goods also looks really good with luxurious delivery and 25 incense. I think means that we can actually just do this. Right? Like, if this goes to 12, and we take that incense, I, this basically gives us, if we if we do keep goods instead of send to the Citadel, we get 8 parts for free, and we still get plus 1 reputation. So I think that's a pretty easy, easy call. We have a second Herbalist's Camp to repair. That also looks pretty fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed your time in the Copper Mines. You'll be leaving now, because I need you to come rebuild this instead. We've also got two giant leech brood mothers and the smaller leech brood mothers. So that's a ton of meat. A ton of meat is a ton of jerky. We can do consumption control now, so really we should be like, don't ever eat insects or meat. Only eat jerky. And we found uh, a decent spot of farm field, in all honesty. So this is a good glade. We're going to pay for it dearly when Greater Threat pops up, but this was a good glade. Trader's coming soon. We have a ton of amber. We should be able to buy everything she has in stock. The absolute best thing that Sahilda could bring for us is the blueprint for an herb garden. I honestly think. Or the blueprint for a small farm. Because we already have a flower producing building and then we can just take bakery net the next time we see it. So we have a second herbalist camp up. I'm going to put you, like, right here, I think, is where you're going to want to go. So clear that out. I wish that was a small farm to repair, but we can't be so lucky. 19 tools, we have 13. So Hilda, please tell me you have a farm. No, that's a forager's camp. You were close, but not quite. I'll still buy all of it. We're not doing anything else with our amber. Two minutes on that. Oh, we have a new source of roots. We 
can get the the scavengers camp turned on again. And you're getting us coal, you're getting us lots of coal. I love that for us. Probably don't need two beavers in here. Clearance, what are our trade routes? Nothing. No, that would be insane. We'll do this though, I guess. We might have an order that wants us to have two. Or uh, standings to two. Wait, what am I doing? You don't go there, you go up here. There. I'll just leave one beaver in there. Put two humans in there. How are you doing on stone here? Two of 60 and then 60 of 60? That seems good to me. How are you doing? You're getting your coal. You're fine. You don't have anything to do, but we know. Okay, look. No. I can be smarter about where people are allocated. I don't have to take new people. Taking new people is insane. You're making an insane choice. Give me... Just move one person from there into here. I don't even know if it's good or not. But we're gonna do it. Are you done yet? One minute. I've got no patience. And I hate waiting. Wasn't there one of these that was really good? Was it this one? 20 box... 20 do? 20 do turns into simple tools, man. So yeah, that one is, like, pretty good. Turns three goods into three tools. If I can find one more tool, we can get this open, and then we, we basically go infinite on tools. Let's do over here, foragers camp. Insects? Yeah, that's fine. We already have stuff that does insects. You're not necessary. But it does thin the deck. You know? So basically, the next time we take a, a rep reward... Uh, it can't show us Forager's Camp, because we have Forager's Camp unlocked already, and so odds are it'll be something better instead. Why not? Let's get it started, you know? Second hearth. Decreases hostility a bit. Might even be able to get a third hearth in over here. It's a lot of tree cutting, but we could get a third hearth, too. Is that good? That might be good. It would enable us to work this farm field over here, that's for sure. So do you want to come over here? And start chopping? And then you, I don't even know what you're doing, but it's probably good stuff. Now, let's see how bad Greater Threat gets. Because beavers right now, just a bunch of really unhappy people. And I can't blame them. All they have going for them is they have a place to live. They don't have any of their favorite foods. They don't have coats. They don't have any surfaces, anything like that. So we're probably going to lose a couple beavers here. It's, it's very sad for them, I'm not going to disagree, but I think it's just kind of the way it has to happen here.
it's insane. We we can't finish that in time. Could do that though, but it doesn't matter. Like we need to take these guys up. So I think at this point I'm desperate enough to go. You know what? Show me other options. Also, did I never turn fabric back on? No, I turned fabric back on. You're just out of planks, my guy. You're out of out of plant fiber. Oh, uh, stop. Stop doing that. You need to come up here. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. I would say this is a, a pretty bad situation. So you go over here. You come over here. You. I would really like you to be a lizard. I do not need three lizards in here anymore because we're pretty much capped on jerky. So you come in here. It's going to make you a little happier. And then I want you to clear all of these trees out. so that I can move houses over here and I can upgrade this hearth. So we're going to lose beavers for sure. Minus six to global resolve from dangerous move. It's pretty scary stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I wish we had a way to get our hostility under control, but we don't. Our hostility is uncontrollable right now. We have no cornerstones that help us, so we're kinda in a race against the clock here to, to finish this map. And the unfortunate part of that is that we're like way behind on <laughs> reputation. So that's not good. A builder beaver left. That's fine. I'll see you later. Hi, hostility. Yeah, I know. None of you give tools. I'm going to keep looking. If I get a, a migrant wave that has tools in it, I'd probably take it. Have you guys carried all this shit away from this caravan yet? Like, you're still on the clay. I need a carrying capacity upgrade for my villagers in a big way. Okay, cornerstones. Uh, 40 water skins? Yeah, that doesn't do it for me. I, I'm not going to take Ancient Pact, because I can't afford the impatience from killing villagers. So I guess I'll take Family Gratitude. Do you have tools? You have one tool. It's good enough. It's good enough to open this up. Investigate it. Yes, and honestly, to get the point, yes. But you, no. I won't do it twice. I'll do it once. I will not do it twice. Two bricks, two fabric. I, we're going to have to use leather to make fabric. It's just the way it is. We don't, we're not getting plant matter from anywhere, so... You know, what can you do? Do we get a trader this season? 558? That's going to be cutting it a little close. I think we might, but I'm not sure. I can't do the math in my head right now. How good do we think this Forbidden Glade is going to be? And do we have the, the means to solve the event? How about this? We're going to open this cache, we're going to turn all of the metal into tools, and then we're going to open the glade. It might end up being next season, but I feel like that is an event that might ask for tools, or possibly ask for tools.
203, we'll be able to finish making connections. Let's get started on working our way into that glade. You have 14 people around you. We can borrow some of your houses. Mine has no available ore, really? Okay. Well, this one we will be upgrading, because there's a lot of coal in there. So, why don't you go mine another 110 coal? Because it is our main fuel source right now. We have finished a delivery. Oh no, it gives us four people. Oh. Oh no, <laughs> it's not what I wanted to see. This isn't what I wanted to see either. I guess we could make scrolls, maybe? We could make pickled goods, but we don't have a way of making... Well, no, we get pottery every time we open a glade, don't we? And then we could pickle mushrooms? Okay, maybe. And this... Maybe, because we have grain to... Okay, you know what? I've talked myself into brewery. Do I think it's better than clothier? Yeah, because the fabric's a nightmare right now. And do I think it's better than a scribe? Yes, because I can't make pigment or wine. Okay, we're going to take brewery, and it seems pretty good. And I think... No, that's an insane spot. Uh, you could, you might end up going down here after we move these houses. And in fact, I think that is where you're going to go. So you come over here. You, up here. You, here. It costs us wood, but that's okay. We're getting wood. It grows on trees. I'm going to wait to move you. I'm going to make a brewery. Brewery is finally going to give... Oh, and lizards like pickled goods, too. Okay, this is this is all right. The unfortunate part is that it involves opening glades to get more pottery, which I think is the same situation we found ourselves in in the last game. But, you know, what can you do? Not a lot, really. Are you carrying metal out of here? You are. So that's done. You are working on clearing a spot for a hearth. That's good. You are coming to help this other guy with mushrooms. And then both of you will not need to be manned anymore. You somehow are still harvesting eggs from these nodes, which is crazy to me. We could probably stand to build a, a second trapper's camp. Like, there's still a lot of meat on the map. Oh, we also have a lot of homeless people. Holy cow, I'm glad I noticed that now. Uh, where where could this go? Maybe, like, over here? Could be a second housing block? It's got, like, one tree to get rid of right there. Where's my second woodcutter? You're over here? Okay. Come down here, work on that. And then uh, the third house is going to go, like here that needs to go and then this stone needs to go but hopefully you're almost done with that you're at 19 of 60. oh you got that tree out of there quick okay there upgraded beautiful good all the good things happening you done don't give me villagers <laughs> i do not want villagers right now i need herb garden not herb garden you have not shown me what i wanted you have shown me pottery. You've also shown me pie and biscuits. But then there's skewers and also there's a clan hall. Camp production is increased by 50%. Is there a world where we take clan hall because it's a services building over complex food? I don't think so, because we can't really make in. No, we could make incense, can't we? Didn't we take something that makes incense? Yeah, 
And we can use roots for it. Roots and coal make incense, and that gives us religion. Lizards and humans like religion, and it gives us a production bonus. If we fail this run, this choice is this choice determines whether we succeed or fail this run, and it's going to be Clan Hall. And you're going to go down here, and you're going to make a lot of logs. Staff it up. And you? What are you doing? You could start making flour. We're not doing anything else with grain. So take me up to like 100 flour. Because then if we do get a building, like, you know, a bakery, what some people might call it, uh, a building that, that uses flour, then, oh, and we can put brewery into. Uh, you're here, brewery. Then, I don't know, anyway, you get the point. You know what I was going for. We're future proofing. We're proofing for the future. You can come back over here. Don't open glades, though. Like, just, just work on these trees. Hostility is terrifying. We're really close to charge rain, and charge rain is quite bad. Where did the rest of my metal go? Shouldn't there have been like a ton of metal in that cache, like 20 of it? Oh, it's still in here. They're working on it. Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't get nearly as many tools out of that as I was expecting. Now you can upgrade again with this. And then by getting that out of the way having a road come up here, getting this out of the way, and then I can put like one, two, three, four decorations behind you. Once I have the planks for it. We're a little we're a little busy on planks right now because we're trying to put this clan all together. And we're trying to make bricks. Oh, we're going to deliver it soon anyway. Okay. We're not great. We're not terrible, but we're not great right now. Another plus one to copper, 10% faster on roads, plus one to barrels. Well, we're not making barrels, but the second that we find a building that allows us to smelt copper, oh baby. How much do we have right now? 32. We'll have more tools than you could shake a tool at. And we should also remember that if we open this glade, and it has a tablet event, uh, we basically get two rep points for free. Clan Hall is going up. Big get. Kinda of forgot that I had to staff it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, this uh, stone deposit is gone, so you move over here. How are you guys doing down here in this coal mine? You still have 85 in there? It's beautiful, we love to see it. We haven't worked this copper ore mine at all, which is kind of embarrassing. We built it for no reason, apparently. And uh, this storm is going to be pretty bad. Because the clan hall hasn't quite kicked in yet. So, watch the resolve plummet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
can we salvage that? How many woodcutters do we have? We have 72 hostility worth of woodcutters, so actually we can salvage it. It just means not doing any woodcutting work. Oh, and also this small hearth spot is ready. So let's get you in here. And really, like, we're just building this for a bit of, uh, of bonus resolve. Okay, you can empty, you can empty. Both of you are done. We'll move you over here, where we'll see that you're available if we find new herb, berry, or mushroom deposits. We have four idle humans. They can go to work in the mine. Or I can just put the beavers in there, because they get a resolve bonus from it. It almost matters. It's almost enough to keep them in here. And actually, we might be able to juggle beavers and humans. If you're unfamiliar with juggling, I'll show you what it means in a second. 12 tools. Are you still making tools? You're still making tools. You are still... Oh, you're making a ton of tools. Alright, this glade is definitely opening next year. It's going to be make or break for us. So here's juggling. Beavers are about to leave. We're not going to hit the timer. What we're going to do is we're going to favor them. That's going to push them positive. Pushing them positive stops the timer. Now it pushes lizards further down. It pushes humans into the negative. But they're not going to tick low enough by the time the storm is over. So we basically save them also. Wait, no. You can just go in here now. And you love this. Okay, so ale, you just go up to like 20. We're building a, a backlog of it. Here, though, make a ton of it. And then pack of crops, just ignore. This also means I don't want people eating raw mushrooms or roots anymore. But that's going to be an extra food source. It's going to be an extra plus four resolve. And it's going to be good. Lizards are going to be ticking reputation. Humans are very close to ticking reputation. I do not want more people. It's the last thing I need. Now we take this. Because we're producing incense. It's just free human resolve at this point. Okay. Impatience is scary high. Don't get me wrong. I am worried about it. You guys have mined 8 copper. It's good enough for me. You're coming back over here. Uh, lizards will still tick, even at 15. That's okay. And it's just to get this glade open. And that's it. Do we have planks yet? Yes. So we can upgrade you. Go 1, 2, 3, 4. Give me over here. Give me a single human working here to chop that one tree down, these two trees down. Newcomers are waiting, don't care. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're never getting in. What do we want now? Like a, a tavern, pretty badly. Really badly. A tavern would be great. Incense production is good, jerky's fine. This is, oh wow, we're down to 15 wood. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna have to we're going to need some some wood cutting for sure. Oh, uh, open glades. It's okay. I give you my permission. Yeah, wood is a bit of an issue right now. We're going to have to keep these places staffed for a little bit. Lizards at 18, humans at 27. I could favor humans, but that would knock lizards below, below the threshold. So I'm going to wait until they gain their reputation, then I'll favor humans. 
and we'll get a second reputation point out of it. And beavers are just miserable, but that's okay. There's nothing I can do for you. Have lower standards. Barrel. Bench, bench. And then let's see what we have in the Forbidden Glade. Also, what time is my meeting? That could be a concern, couldn't it? Let's pause, because that looks scary. Let's <laughs> just see a giant mole out of the corner of my eyes. Uh, the, when is this meeting? 2.30. Okay, we're actually in good shape. 35 meat? Can't do that. Insects? I can do that. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, like, finish this, and we're gonna send it to the Citadel. So all woodcutters and gatherers get, like, minus 20 to resolve. I know we're really tight on wood, but you guys are going to be really upset if I let you work here. Also, we get a tablet. Embrace the eternal rains, for it powers the engine of progress. Okay. Let's put you, like, over here. And then what's this? It's a dead leviathan. Yeah. Sure is. 999 meat charges. Also, mushrooms. Where'd I put those herbalist camps? I think we're about to turn those back on. Uh, what are you do You're at 14. I want you to keep ticking, so I'm going to take one of you out of here, and then you'll be very excited about life. What did we get out of this if we chose to? Yeah, I don't I don't care about any of these. 11 food stockpile would be nice, don't get me wrong. And then 300 points of hostility. Yeah, we need to finish you. Also, I'd completely forgot that we had trade routes. No, we don't need to be doing them anymore. We never mind. We're good. What do we have here? Planks 3, don't care. Flower 3, don't care. Wine 3, don't really care. Bricks and pottery. Nah, nah. Do I care about wine? I think it's really... No, we could make wine out of mushrooms. I guess I'll take a cellar. I'd really have liked to see a service building there. But I think cellar is going to be the best thing we have available. We're also up to 24 tools now, so... I'm going to start just cracking these, I think. Am I? Is that what I'm going to do? do well, do I, first, do I have any that roll into more tools? Like, that one doesn't, that one doesn't. Those are actually the only two we know about, so no, neither of them do. Well, then, yeah, I think I will just open one for a rep point. And then here I got a cellar. We have a lovely 2x2 two two spot that we've left here almost intentionally. You wrap around there. These trees can go. I'm a little worried that this isn't going to finish before a uh, storm. But hey, this is not an alternative. Kill a villager and it destroys all resource nodes and buildings within 20 field radius. We can't afford that at all. Where's my second lizard? Can I borrow a lizard from somewhere? Can I borrow you? Can you stand in here so that we get some bonus resolve? Thank you. You're at 18. Next rep threshold is 22. We can actually push you to that. Okay, you're working on it. It's four minutes to go. I don't think that clearance is four minutes long. But we'll find out. How long is clearance? It's four minutes long! Holy cow, it's going to finish in, like, a second before the end of clearance. This is great news. Oh, but you know what's not great news? He doesn't give ancient tablets. Do these? Wait! Oh, oh shit! I, um, are you working on this already? Cancel? Can I cancel you? I can cancel you. Holy shit. I forgot that there were caches in here. Uh, you need to get this. Because not only does it roll into tools... But it also gives us three tablets, which is two rep points. So you come in here. That was almost a catastrophic blunder. I'm very lucky that we caught that when we did.
I'm going to build a second trapper's camp, man. I don't even care. This is way too valuable. Look at all the shit we get from this. Like, every gather is the half chance of leather, sea marrow, jerky, crystallized dew. It's crazy. It's so much better to work that thing than to work these random eggs over here. And in fact... Like, just come over here now and work it. Do we have lizards in this? We have two... It's, man, I'm... I'm tempted to go, like, full sicko mode. And grab lizards out of that. Put lizards to work in it. This is going to wreak havoc on our impatience, which is going to be pretty bad for hostility. But it also means that... Well, I don't know. I'm sure it means something. Probably means something good, right? So there's that taken care of. Do we have anything that makes pottery right now? Yeah, smokehouse can make pottery at a one star efficiency. I mean... I guess why wouldn't you? Is what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, it's one star efficiency and that kind of sucks, but also, like, we need it. So. Alright, you're done soon, and then hostility is going to be back under control. Impatience is very much not under control. But it's about to be. I mean, we're about to do minus one, minus two, minus three. All three of those are going to reduce impatience. Except you're going to carry tablets back last, so actually we're going to be waiting a very long time. Oh, Glade events give you reputation. Oh, no, it's because we salvaged it. Never mind. Lizard's up to 33. Down to 28. Okay, people are very happy. Can we get this below 2? No, we cannot. We're going to have to ride this one out. But, I look at this. Even with... Uh, greater threat. We don't have to micromanage our way out of this. And now that this mole is done, I want to get even more lizards into trapping camps. So where can I borrow from? Lizards. In a clan hall? Absolutely, I can swap you out. You will be so much better served in here. You need this to be built to priority. I would like to unassign you. I'm done with you for right now. This needs to be a barrel. You could possibly go to one. You could almost definitely go to one. Scavengers camp has nothing nearby. I can just completely unassign you. Like, I know there's eggs, but that's a job for trappers camps. This warehouse is getting built. It's going to decrease our turnaround time on this dead leviathan. And then after that, prioritize here. It's too bad we don't get wood out of this dead leviathan, because I am still a little concerned about that number. But I think it's going to be okay. Also, these villagers are moving, man. Look at how fast they are. Uh, cookhouse at this point is probably our pick. I think it's a little too late for plantation at this point. 
we're good on food, especially with that dead Leviathan. And this is just going to be more resolve from food. So give me cookhouse. If I remember, this is the big building. Yeah, this is a this is a unit. So where do I have space for you? Not back there. Maybe like here. I'd have to cut, chop a couple trees down, but also maybe like here. If I get rid of you, you, and you. Oh, that pushes us to four. That's a horrible idea. Stay at three, please. Do not do that. And then we'll get Cuckoo's in. We can juggle beavers this season. Where's the rest of my lizard homies? Relics are done. Do any of these give us villagers? No. Oh, we never had archaeological tools. That's embarrassing. Well, take that. And then I'm going to wait until next season on the other one. Because I'm worried that it's going to push our hostility up back over four. And I don't want that to happen until next season comes around. There's our hub upgraded. And I think at this point we snowball. I think after all of these malices go away, that we're just going to have insane resolve. What are these? Oh, mystery boxes! Pog, are you ready to gamble? Mysterious box full of surprises. Contains a large number of goods and two epic perks. Can we afford all of these? Yeah, we can. Give me that. So we got 10 trade goods, 40 coats, nice, 40 jerky, good, 40 cosmetics, don't need that. One additional active trade route slot, traders arrive 25% quicker and 10% quicker movement. Good. 30 plant fiber, more fabric. Roots, pottery, good, rich in fiber, whatever. One insects for every two mushrooms produced. That's an insane perk right now, actually. We still have a lot of mushrooms on this map. And then we have plus two to pigment production, meat, stone, and uh, the water skins. Not bad overall, honestly. Also, I forgot that there were... Uh, herbless camps up here. So you're going to go here. Bring you down. You're going to come over here. And I'm going to staff you. And I'm going to staff you. And then I'm going to take a cornerstone. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by 12. I think it's a little late for that to matter, but this doesn't matter at all, because we're not even at corruption, so... And then we're going to do this. We're going to get even more meat. We're going to get even more reputation. Give me a service building. No? Okay, fine. Uh, a way to make pie. It's fine. The issue that I now have, though, is I think this is probably uh, too many buildings to staff. So you're going to be roots. You're going to be eggs, insects, meat. Make a hundred. Make a hundred. Uh, actually, this is much better than the other one. So make pottery here. Use coal. You stop making pottery. We're going to need a cookhouse back here. I, we, ju we cascade at this point, I think. I think at this point we've got it in the bag. Let's see, where can I shave people off? can take one out of there, and then I can have you come open this. You're hard at work. You, I, I'm gonna keep you around just in case, I guess. Don't have a principled reason for it. I think there's just one human in here. Yeah. There's just one guy working in the mine. He's been there for a really long time, <laughs> too. Poor guy. Uh, you need 29 to hit your next rep threshold? I can't do that for you. The U I can do, though. I can get you to 31. And then you need 19. But I think you've still got enough metal to be working on these. Yeah, you've still got 5 in there, and you're making 6 right now, so... That's going to be at least one more tool. Cookhouse is going to go in. That cache is going to get opened. I do need, like, a couple more lizards, honestly. How bad is this? It's not that bad. It doesn't move the hostility needle. We're already well into four right now. So, you and you. 
I'm still really worried about services. Like, this could be pretty bad, don't get me wrong, but I think we're ahead enough on uh, impatience right now that we can afford a couple mistakes along the way. You? Yeah, you still have a bunch of grain. I forgot that we have, we've had grain line delivery running since basically the start of the game, and I kind of forgot about it, but it's been it's been cranking the grain out, man. This could be a mine up here. You're working the Leviathan. That's repeatable metal in the in the Leviathan too. So all these glades here, we can crack that. We can crack that. Like actually, we could just do it now. Yeah, go get me one rep. You, we need a lot of lizards to work here. Where are they all right now? Okay, you know what? I don't need you in the blight post. I've changed my mind. I want you to come in here instead. This random human in the copper mine? I don't need you there anymore. Come work in this cookhouse. Who else can I pilfer? Two humans in a cellar? No, I kind of want you to keep up on pickled goods. I think you're actually kind of important. I don't think you're important. So you can come work in here. Who else is not important? Uh, that's it. That's all you have available, my guy. These beavers are extremely busy in this carpenter. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. Where's our uh, humans like incense production? We're at 40. Oh, we already gained one from that. Nice. I guess they've been they've been powering through the incense over here. What are we at? Zero? Okay, they're using the incense pretty quick too, I guess. So now we can fill our need... F wait, 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 wait. Why are you making pigment? Stop this. Sorry, I forgot to tell you you're not allowed to do that. Mine has no ore. I think we can upgrade this one again. Right? Yeah. We don't have the tools for it, though. We could spend parts on it. I think we're going to have to spend parts on it. Or we could just move it, is the other thing we could do. Burn the Blight Rot Cyst off of it and move it. Let's do that instead, because there's other uh, coal deposits on the map. So you... I want one of you to come in here, and then I don't want you to burn Blight Rot anywhere else you find it. Just leave it all alone. What do you mean you're idle? Oh, sorry. It's like there's no way that you could be idle. And limits. A hundred, a hundred. We need a source of roots. Again, actually. We don't have any. Is it time to crack a glade? Do we dare? Again, like, what's the, like, what's the worst? Okay, let's wait until after clearance. Let's wait until after clearance, we'll crack another glade. Because I wouldn't mind getting another source of roots, honestly. We burned that cyst off. We could just make a new mine right now. Let's put one there. This is a nice coal deposit. I think there's another one over here that's okay. You exist, I guess. I guess, you know, get you in there. You can do something, at least. There's this one over here. Although we mined that coal out, but it's the cheaper upgrade. It's the one that only takes 20 planks instead of planks and tools. You're at rep 30. We could put you're at twenty nine. So if we take the if we stop favoring humans, then we'll get rep from both humans and lizards. How are we doing on housing? We're three houses short, actually. Well, good thing we built this over here, I guess. There, and then. A little bit of this. And then you're at 15 of 14, so that's good. You're at 18 of 14. We could actually move one of these houses. Like, let's grab you. You can come be over here now. 
It's hideous, I know. It doesn't line up at all with this converted rain totem. But... Needs must and all that. Alright, you hit your rep threshold. I need a service building so badly. Like, this tavern is pretty much exactly what I need. Because we've also got a uh, cup some glasses. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick. We're going to take you to 40. Because my concern is that as soon as I open this tavern, everyone's going to show up and, like, start drinking. And I don't necessarily need all that. So we're going to make it. Yeah, I'll let you tick rep for a bit. We're going to make 40 ale, we're going to build the tavern, and then before anyone has a chance to drink, we're going to complete this order. You finished there. We have enough tools for this one? We do. Holy cow, the tools are coming in so fast. Uh, I need... Are you almost done with this? 12 of 15, not really. Not such as you'd like, but I can take you off of it. So that we have a free builder. Or did I have two free people? I had two free oh, yeah. people. You can get in there too. Oh, and Utopia is going to finish pretty soon, I think. Because it's not uh, have it fulfilled for X amount of seconds, it's just have it fulfilled ever. We'll get a road in there too. Yeah, I think I think we're good. This is going to finish, this is going to finish, and then that's going to be our last two reputation. If, you know, these two ticking doesn't take care of it first. So I think we're set to go. Finding this Leviathan was big. I think this Crystallized Dew really enabled our tool production to take off in a way that it would not have otherwise, so that we could open all these caches up. Are we going to be able to upgrade this small hearth real real quick, like, at the end of the day? Oh, we're down to 38 cold. Um, hey, you want to, like, get in here? And then do you want to leave this copper mine again? And just, like, mine me a lot of coal? Let's just make sure we don't run out of fuel here right at the closing stages of the game. You're good, you're good, you're not good, you've never been good. When have you ever been happy? Pie is being fulfilled, skewers is being fulfilled, everyone is miserable. Can't do anything about it though, we're just stuck at 78. But, uh, people are happy enough to stay, which is insane to me. So, build this temple. I actually, well, no I don't. Okay, a miner's immediately died because he didn't have uh, services fulfilled. What can you do? Wait, are you burning? Don't do that. I want you to do it on this mine only. No, don't do it here either. Stop. I mean, it's okay for you to burn that off because eventually we're going to destroy that mine, but like, just, just stop. What else are you going to try and do? Where else are the things that you think you're allowed to burn, but you're not? Uh, the carpenter and woodcutter have died. Okay, we're losing beavers. Woodcutter died? That's honestly okay. At least everyone's housed. Like, you can't complain too much. Priority to that. You're making a ton of skewers. We're out of roots for biscuits, so that's pretty bad. You're empty. You're empty. Right? No, there's one charge left. What do you mean you you have no deposit left? There's a deposit right there. A human died. Okay, it's, you know, it's bad. But it'll be okay. As soon as the storm is over, we win the game. Oh no, wait, it is counting. I need to fill... Yeah, I need to fill all these. For 30 seconds, it is a timed one. So it's we're going to have to build this tavern. Carpenter and a scout died. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, but that knocked us down to hostility 3. We killed so many villagers that we don't have to worry about it anymore. 
it all worked out. No, did you destroy the cyst down here? You did. Oh, we won. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know where that last score came from. Maybe a cache. But there we go. That game was on the on the ropes for a little bit, but we pulled it back pretty nicely. So we've unlocked harpies. We've unlocked smelters. Did I not even have a smelter? I think I had no way of actually making copper bars out of that mine. Uh, we get a bathhouse. We get a cooperage. Tanning. Generous gifts. Let's head back to the world map. Definitely the uh, the diciest game we've played so far, but a win is a win is a win. And I think for next time we might have enough time to do here and then get whatever this modifier is. As long as we win quick. We need a fast city to come out to like here. And then we'll be able to embark one more time before the end of the cycle. So, a smoldering city. Let's go take a look at our deeds. We've completed 10 orders. That's pretty true. We've traded a lot of goods. We won a game near Fertile Grounds. We won a game in Marshlands. We've leveled up again. This time we get Artisan, Press, Monastery. I thought I had Monastery. We just got to pick from Monastery last game, didn't we? We've got Sother. We've got Exploration Expedition, then we've got Frequent Caravans. I like Frequent Caravans a lot. I think it's very fun. Uh, trade goods worth 200 amber. I don't think we did that. I think this is actually just have 200 amber, because we didn't... No, we did. We bought a lot of stuff. That's what it was. Okay. And then win a game without completing any camp events. Yeah, we never even saw one. Win a game in the marshlands and on Viceroy. We get a decorative fungus. There we go. That's a bunch of deeds out of the way. Let's go buy our upgrades. We have unlocked this next tier. So what do you got here? All traders have one cornerstone or blueprint for sale. It's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. This we'd have to unlock to get to this. But this is pretty... Greater embarkation range is pretty good. So maybe we do like this and then that. And does that allow us to see one further out so we can actually see what this is? It does. Barren lands. There's no fertile soil anywhere in this region. Well, we just won a game without using farms, so I don't anticipate that being much of a problem, quite honestly. And then we should be able to buy one more upgrade. Do you and just get it out of the way? One additional option to pick from for cornerstones is pretty good. We had a couple choices in that last game where we were like, neither of these cornerstones are great. Uh, embarkation bonuses are kind of whatever. Allows us to build a human house whenever we want, though. So this is an interesting choice. Plus one cornerstone at the beginning of each year, or what basically amounts to plus three resolve for humans all the time. Because we can just build them a human house whenever we want. And, you know, plus one to available charges. I think this is going to be better. I think we will win more games by having humans at a static plus three resolve, then we will by getting to pick one extra cornerstone. So let's go with this. And then that's all of our food. So we'll head back to deeds. Maintaining 100% perfect win ratio. There's no way it can last. Get ahead of it now, because it's not going to stay that way forever. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to wrap it up today, because I've got a meeting in half an hour, so I don't have time to roll another game. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Hope you've had a good time. We will be back with this... I'm going to I'm going to try sincerely try to get a game of against the storm in every day. We'll see how long that actually lasts. I, so far we're 3 for 3, but I would really like to try and use this early afternoon slot to just play a quick game and then upload the vod later. So we'll see how that goes overall. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Uh have a good Thanksgiving cuz that's coming up and I'll see you guys later.